Hi, this is Katie. Good morning. It is about 7.30 in the morning and I just got out of bed. And if you watched one of my last videos, uh, I mentioned that I got out of bed at like almost 2 p.m. And I was like, just not feeling mentally great that day, physically great that day. I was kind of sluggish. I just kind of felt low. And so I let myself stay in bed and, uh, you know, watch YouTube and look at Instagram for basically the whole morning, even though I didn't even wake up until 10 or 11. And then I just stayed in bed the next couple hours and then I got up and really all I did that day was make a couple meals, which I showed you and watch TV. And uh, that was yesterday, but I was feeling more positive last night. And the thing that I was doing that was making me feel a little bit more positive was mildly planning things was thinking about, okay, well, maybe I'll do more work and maybe I'll clean. And sometimes, and I wanna talk about this right now because it was just on my mind. Sometimes when we plan things or when we have an idea for something, that will make us feel good. Whether it's you planning a vacation or whether it's planning, I'm gonna start reading this book tomorrow or I'm gonna start my new business tomorrow or I'm gonna get all those emails done tomorrow that I've been dreading or I'm finally gonna go through all my clothes or I'm finally gonna clean my bathroom or I'm gonna get to see my family soon. So whether it's planning something fun, whether it's planning something productive, whether it's planning something that you haven't been doing that you really just wanna get done, whatever it is, planning something almost gives us the same like feeling as if we've already done it. And so the tricky thing is to plan something and then actually do it because that feeling that it's like, oh, I'm planning it. That means that I'm doing something positive or great. I don't like this piece of hair right now. Planning it weirdly like tricks our brain a little bit to make it feel like we've already done it and to give us that same feeling of accomplishment and positivity. And so one of the hard parts is planning and then actually following through with it because it, we already had that feeling. We already had that good, positive feeling, that feeling of accomplishment. So why would we even put in any more work? You know, like it's very easy to just plan and then not do. Whether it's fun, whether it's, I'm gonna go on a trip next week. Um, even starting to plan the trip might be really, really fun. I think there's even psychological studies that show like planning a trip can be just as enjoyable as going on the trip. So this is like an actual psychological idea kind of thing. So I just wanted to, you know, send a little encouragement this morning of if you're planning something that is fun or positive or good or fulfilling or productive, see what you can do to actually follow through with it. Because not only does that, you know, help you have more integrity, but it'll actually help you feel that sense of accomplishment because you actually accomplished something. If you feel really, really stuck you know, like just planning a trip to just kind of distract yourself, get your mind off something, think of something good can be great, but we don't want to get stuck in a rut of, or stuck in a, a negative thought cycle of, um, I don't really need to get anything done because I can just trick my brain into fake feeling accomplished. You know, we don't want to do that. Um, we want to actually get stuff done. And again, that could be cleaning your house. It could be starting a business. It could be making a plan to see your family when we're able to, um, it doesn't matter what it is, but if it's something that you want to do, just thinking about it and then getting that accomplished feeling isn't actually you accomplishing anything. And so I want to wake up early and I did. Okay, cool. Now I need to make sure that I keep going. If that's the person that I want to be, which I do, I want to be productive. I want to do things. Again, I know there are certain days like yesterday that I needed to rest. That was just what was best for me. But today I woke up and I'm like, I'm going to go get stuff done. I'm going to go do like cool things today. And by cool things, I mean, I'm going to exercise and I'm going to clean my house, but those are going to be things that are, are going to be good for me. And I always think that it's helpful for me to do productive type things in the morning. So that's why I like to exercise in the morning because it already gives me like a push. It's almost like I'm like a boulder on a hill and like exercising or doing something like that in the morning is a little push for me to just keep going throughout the day. And there's that saying like, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. And so I feel like when I start doing things in the morning, then I'm just more likely to just do more things. I just am. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that little bit of like, encouragement kind of thing this morning, but also just real talk. You guys know that I'm real here. I am going to exercise and then, you know, do some work and clean and, and shower and wash my hair and I'm gonna get my day started. Hey guys, it's a little while later. It's a little after eight 
eight eleven. I did a quick workout. I followed a little bit of Melissa Wood Health just on her Instagram. She does have an app that I'm thinking of downloading to get like her actual training, but on Instagram she does little like tidbits and stuff. So I just followed some of that. And um, before I shower, I want to tidy up this quickly and um, unload my dishwasher. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, and I did not record me working out. I mean, A, because I'm not good uh, yet, but B, my battery died. So I had to charge it for uh, for a little bit. But I'm gonna tidy this up quick and then go shower. Yeah, it's been said there's a cure for a heavy head. Heaven forbid it. Instead, I wanna make it safe to go to bed. You can't bet my galas would give up regret. I wake up in cold sweats and I can't get the taste of you off my palate. You were my dream of the best I If you're like, what is that alien? Um, since the last time we spoke, like when I was cleaning, last time you heard me speak words out of my mouth, uh, I showered twice. And you might be like, Katie, that's excessive. It's only been like two or three hours. Like that's excessive. Uh, yeah, I showered and then I went for a walk. That was in the wrong order. So then I ended up getting real sweaty and showered again. <laughs> So I just got out of my second shower, changed my clothes. Um, also just took my shorts out of the dryer, which is not great because now they shrunk a little bit. So, <laughs> but yeah, now it's about 1.30. And uh, besides like the cleaning and showering and stuff, I've just been working. I've been editing tomorrow's video and I've also been editing this video, which I do sometimes. If I'm like vlogging like throughout a day, I might edit in between clips sometimes, like in between recording, I mean. So I've just been doing that. And I feel like I've been pretty productive today. Like I said, I've been up since about 7.30 and it's uh, one, what did I say? 125 now six hours six hours of straight work and a little bit of like exercise in 19 showers <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna get back to work now i want to finish up tomorrow's video and what else am i doing today oh i got new glasses that i'll show you a little bit later i bought two new pairs of glasses just because I wanted to have a couple pairs, you know, like depending on the mood I'm in and depending on what I'm wearing and whatever. So I got a couple new pairs that I will show you, but I'm gonna get back to work now and talk to you guys a little later. Oh, baby, baby. That's what I'm calling all of you baby right now. Uh, something, something is trying to get me down right now. I feel it. Something, some external crap is trying to get me down right now. And I can feel my heart being like, like my chest, you know, like where you get anxiety, like, can I be anxious and depressed right now? Or do we have stuff to do? We have stuff to do. I'm not letting it happen. And I know that we cannot always control when it happens, but every once in a while, right when it starts, right when we start to feel that depression or anxiety creep in, we can be like, uh-uh, not today. And then you go do something super fun to distract yourself, or you do something really productive to distract yourself. Because I also just realized that I was about to just go sit on Instagram for 20 minutes. Nope, not doing that today either. Not happening. I usually sit on Instagram, I'm not kidding like two or three hours a day. Just scrolling, just doing nothing. This is how I scroll, by the way. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not letting myself waste my time. Especially waste my time doing things that hurt me, that hurt my feelings, that hurt my heart, that hurt my brain, that make me sad, that make me feel worthless or pointless. Sometimes my brain does that by itself, but I'm definitely not, not today. I might in the future, but not letting external stuff or added stuff bring me down when I don't need it to. I am, nah, -uh, no, mm -mm, not happening. 
not happening. It wants to, feel it trying to creep in, but I'm not letting it happen. I'm going to focus on work and I'm gonna remind myself that like, I can do anything because I have God. That's what we're gonna do. When sometimes when outside stuff tries to bring us down or even our brain tries to bring us down but it's right in the beginning and we feel like we can catch it, be like, no, nope, uh-uh, don't have time for you. Nope, no thank you. They knock at the door and you're like, I'm not answering. Uh-uh, go away, leave, get, get out the way, move. Wait, what's the, I'm not trying to think of that song, the Ludacris song or whoever that is. I'm trying to think of like the, the JoJo song, the get out, leave right now song. <laughs> Either or will work. Anyway, tell the negative stuff to get out, just get and focus on something better, if possible. And sometimes it is possible, like right now, I'm gonna force myself, I'm gonna do it. We're being positive today, guys. Force a smile till it happens naturally. <laughs> okay, gonna work. Gonna work, gonna work, bye. Okay, I was pretty successful not allowing any external crap to bring me down right now. It was really trying, but I was pretty successful like pushing it out of the way. But also I'm doing laundry, if you can hear, and I wanna know what your least favorite chore is. Let me know in the comments. Mine is hands down folding laundry, especially shirts. The rest I don't hate as much, but I hate it. So does anyone else's kitchen look like this after they make lunch? Like why? <laughs> How do I make such a mess with one meal of eggs and guacamole? I made um, some like homemade guac. How do I, the shadow, this is a very creepy shadow actually. But like I made all of this mess in like the quickest meal of a lifetime. Um, I just, it's just funny to me how much of a mess you can make so quickly. I'm gonna clean it up. It'll take me one minute to clean up, but I just found it comical that I made such a mess making such a simple meal. Much better. Yay. So it's a little after five and I decided to kind of take a break from working. Uh, I'm gonna paint my fingernails and my toenails and I'm gonna watch an episode of Married at First Sight. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna paint my toenails white. I like the CND nail polish. It's the weekly nail polish. You gotta get it with the top coat because it really does last. This nail polish has been on my fingers for well over a week. And like, it doesn't look super, super nice, but it definitely looks a lot nicer than any other nail polish does that I've ever tried, except for like gel and stuff. And I don't want to mess with gel. Um, I've had it a couple times, but I don't like how hard it is to take off and stuff. And so this is like a really good in-between in my opinion. So I'm probably going to do my toes in white. I like white toenails, especially like in the spring, summer. This is the color cream puff number 108. And I wanted to show you these new glasses that I got. So you know that I've had these glasses for what, like three or four months. I got them from Glasses USA. They're the Hillary Duff collab and I think they're called Gloria. And I do like them, but I also wanted a pair or two that were a little bit like lighter. And I don't mean like weight wise, I mean like how they looked on my face. Cause these are obviously tortoiseshell. So they're a little like darker and a little heavier. And so I got a pair of gold, like metal glasses and a pair of clear glasses. And you might be like, Katie, didn't you have those glasses like earlier this year and last year? Yeah, I did. They just got super scratched up because I had them for like long enough and the coating, I didn't get like the extra fancy coating on them when I ordered them last year. So after like six months or a year or so, the lenses did get scratched up. But anyway, these two new ones that I got are from firmu.com. Um, I get a lot of my glasses from there, not all of them, but a lot of them. They're very inexpensive and they have sales like all the time. And so I think this was like a buy one, get one, or 40% off or something crazy. And so I think I got both of these pairs combined, including like tax and shipping and everything for like 55 bucks and they are prescription. So I was just excited to have a couple of more pairs, just, you know, like depending on my mood or what outfit I'm wearing or something, I might want to switch them up. So these are the glasses I've been wearing for the last few months. And now putting on new glasses, it's always like, takes a little bit of getting used to what your face looks like in different glasses. Cause even though I used to have a gold pair, these are different gold glasses. And even though I had a clear pair, these are different, like a different style, different model, whatever. So anyway, these are the gold ones. I have to fix this to get it down more. I have to like fix the nose pads, but essentially it would kind of look like that. Cute, cute, cute. 
And then I have these clear ones that again, I had very, very similar ones, not exactly the same, but similar, but they just got so scratched that like I couldn't really see out of them anymore. And so this is what these look like. But a lot of you guys ask about my glasses. So this is not sponsored or anything, but a lot of you guys ask about my glasses. And so these are from Glasses USA. These are from Firmu, F-I-R-M-O-O. -O. All right, so now I'm gonna go paint my nails and watch some TV and I will show you my nails after. Hey guys, so. I took my nail polish off and then I did not paint them. Um, the same with my toes because by the time I took the nail polish off, which took a couple minutes, um, because it's not insanely impossible to take off the CND nail polish, but it's like, it's definitely nowhere near as hard as gel. Like if gel is over here and regular nail polish is here, CND is like here, especially if there's like a couple layers or whatever. But anyway, so that took me a couple minutes. And then just even like cutting my cuticles and like trying to make my nail shape look nice, took a while and so after I did all those things I didn't feel like painting them so I'll probably just paint them tomorrow but I got the first couple steps done so that's good hey guys future Katie here on my phone by the way um just wanted to show you my toenails sorry if you hate feet <laughs> but this is my toes after I painted them I painted them like the next day um in this white color called cream puff and then my nails I ended up painting in this light pink which is called Winter Glow, I believe. Hold on, let me double check. Yes, Winter Glow, number 203. So this is what they ended up looking like. But I think it's gonna be it for this video. I think I'm done. It's uh, 6.43 and I'm done working for the day, um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and hanging out with me during like a more productive day for me. I'm really, really glad that I finally am like feeling a little bit, um, you know, more positive in my brain. I'm really, really glad about that. So today I was able to do a lot of like really good things and productive things that I've wanted to do. So I'm just kind of done working for the day. So I think I'm just gonna be done with this vlog for the day as well. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Please make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram. Um, again, I think I've mentioned kind of briefly here and there, but I am moving next week. My lease is up here and I just, I am leaving. It's just time for me to leave. I am going somewhere safe, don't worry, but I'll explain all that next week. Um, and then I'll be having like packing videos and moving videos and stuff like that. So please stay tuned for kind of like a little bit of travel content, a little bit, obviously not a lot. I can't like actively travel right now, but a little bit, I'll be in the car. I'll be in the car <laughs> and I'll be moving everything out of here. So being in the car, man. Oh, I'm excited. So I hope that you guys subscribe and click the notification bell and that you stick around to watch all those upcoming videos. And yeah, I really just appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching my videos and supporting me. I, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.